Hey, BC here for BC Nefro. Thanks for watching. Today, we're going to talk about how to calculate creatinine clearance. For more information, check out bcnefro.com. A link will be in the description below. So let's get into it. First, what is creatinine clearance? The clearance of any substance is the amount removed from the blood in a given amount of time. For creatinine clearance, what we're measuring is the amount of creatinine removed from the blood in a 24-hour period. Why would we measure creatinine clearance? We measure it because it's an estimate of glomerular filtration rate. For more information on GFR and different ways to measure it, check out the other video and article, which I'll link in the description below. GFR is measured in milliliters per minute, so we're going to need to calculate the creatinine clearance in milliliters per minute. The clearance of any substance is calculated by the formula UV over P, which is urine concentration times urine volume over plasma concentration. You can order a creatinine clearance and get the results that the lab gives you. I'm gonna show you the individual components so you can calculate it yourself if the lab doesn't calculate it, or you can confirm the laboratory calculations. What typically is needed is a 24-hour urine for creatinine and volume and a serum creatinine. The urine creatinine is reported in a concentration of milligrams per deciliter. The urine volume is reported either in milliliters or liters. And the serum concentration is also reported in milligrams per deciliter. We're going to need to convert these to milliliters per minute. I'm gonna run you through the numbers, so here's an example. For our patient, we're gonna use a urine concentration of 100 milligrams per deciliter urine volume of 1,500 milliliters, a serum concentration of 1.5 milligrams per deciliter. Using the formula UV over P, we're gonna take the urine concentration of 100 milligrams per deciliter, multiply it by 1,500 milliliters, and divide it by 1.5 milligrams per deciliter to end up with milliliters per minute. Since there's 100 milliliters in a deciliter, we take the con urine concentration of 100 milligrams per deciliter, and multiply it by 15 deciliters to get 1,500 milligrams in the 24-hour specimen. So there were 1,500 milligrams of creatinine in the 24-hour urine. Since there's 1,440 minutes in a day, we divide the 1,500 milligrams by 1,440. We divide that to get the creatinine clearance in deciliters per minute. That's 0.69 deciliters per minute for our example multiply deciliters by 100 to get milliliters per minute. So here are some tips. First, you wanna make sure the 24-hour urine collection was a complete collection. A normal 24-hour urine creatinine is in between 15 and 25 milligrams per kilogram. We've multiplied deciliters by 100 to get milliliters and 24 hours by 1440 to get minutes. This turns out to be 0.69 for a shortcut we can, multiply, we can take the 24-hour urine total creatinine, multiply that by 0.69, divided by the serum creatinine to get the creatinine clearance. If for some reason the urine collection wasn't exactly 24 hours, we could substitute the number of minutes that it actually was for 1,404. So that's it. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, hit like, subscribe, let your friends know. Check out bcnefro.com.